So it's very important to find your staple production sounds, so that piano that you always go to or the drum sounds that you always go to. But sometimes you can find VSTs that just provide something you never knew you wanted, some interesting take on an existing instrument or some sound design features that just elevate your productions in a way you didn't really know could happen. So in this video, I'm going to be breaking down three piano VSTs with some interesting twists that take them into new areas of use and production capabilities. I've also got a new VST I was just sent today that I want to check out in this video as well because it looks epic. So I'll throw that in somewhere, but for now, I'm going to dive in and break down the first plugin. Oh, and also before I start, if there's any VSTs that you'd love to try out, anything new or anything that's just been on your want list for a while, do let me know in the comments down below. And if I pick it to make a video about, uh, I'll send you a free copy. So diving into plugin number one. So at the heart of it, it's a really nice felted piano, but there's a lot more going on under the hood. So this one is called Mir, I think, M-I-R. It's a new plugin, it's by Elementary Sounds, and it's inspired by the Space Race. So there's a lot of vintage analog processing and warmth. It's a really interesting granular sound design. So this is the basic interface. So this is the first patch you get, which is the sustain patch. Uh, there's also a few more. So there's a tape patch. So you can tell it's got a lot of analog processing. It's a little bit thinner and it's got an interesting tone to it. Uh, you also got broken tape for an extreme effect. You can sort of see this working well in like trailer music and that sort of thing. I'll just rush through them a little bit. You've got random octaves. So it can work well for sort of granular stuff. And I've used this in a couple of tracks. It's just nice to play notes and get this soft organic texture from the octaves. So that's a lush patch. And then you've got mutes. And you've got mute cassette. But really the main sort of interesting element to this is all the sound design features that they offer. So if you start to drag this up, you sort, you sort of start to see the space themes come through. You can adjust it to taste. And just have full sort of granular synthesis sounds. And there's a lot you can do with it. So you can slide over to Cosmos, which is one effect. Slide over to the other effect, or you can have LFO sort of movements. And this is the sort of stuff that I love because it just adds so much variance to a track. And once you start layering in different patches with all these movements, you get interesting sounds that you've not really even sort of aimed to make. You just sort of find them. And you can turn on up to four in this one. Such a cool sound. And they've got one of these essentially for each patch that I showed you. Go back to the normal felt. You can also see some of the other features that they have. So you've got your typical pedal noise, which you can turn off. The key noise, you've got this profile for attack, decay, sustain, release. And you can control the different mics that we used, the tube, the ribbons, and the condensers. And in the movement tab, you've got the sequencer and the LFO controls. Different options. Which is cool to have built into a plugin. And you've got this little randomizer as well. So I'll turn it off. And then on the master section, you've got the filtering, EQing, uh, tune output noise and within the plugin anything that you see this little box you can click it and have sort of automation to it and as i said there's a lot going on here because if you click on any sound source they've got their own sort of granular manipulations that's tape or with broken tape
So some very, very cool stuff in here. Elementary Sounds is one of those companies where everything they release are just absolutely straight on it because it's such interesting uh, and useful software. So that is plugin number one. So if you're making some fantastic music with these plugins, I definitely recommend getting it out there and distributing it to all of these streaming services. And there's no better way of doing that than this week's video sponsor and longtime supporter of the channel who are DistroKid. So if you're a professional musician with lots of music released, or you're new to it and you're looking to start making a little bit of money with your music, DistroKid is definitely the way to go to get you started. So if you've not heard of them, they're one of the biggest distributors in the world and they get your music onto sites like Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, Deezer, Amazon Music and all of the extra ones that you want to be on just in case. So Digital Kids got plans starting at just $2 a month. But I'd recommend going for the $3 plan which gives you two aliases and it allows you to pitch ahead of time so you can pick the release date of your music and pitch it to Spotify and Amazon Music and that sort of thing. So well worth getting. But on top of that I've got an array of fantastic features that can make life so much easier for musicians. So if you click the link in the description down below you'll firstly get 7% off your first year's membership plus if you're a student they've actually got a 50% off offer at the minute so it's well worth getting started on your music distribution journey. And if you log in and click this link here you'll see a range of amazing features to help you promote your music and make a little bit of extra money with your music. So if you go to Get Heard Now, if you're on the ultimate plan, you get the playlist search tool so you can find contact details for thousands of playlists. If you go to Promote Yourself, you've got some tools to create promotional material, high follow page and videos to promote your music. Plus there's additional tools to help protect your music and to help get unauthorized music off your page. Plus on top of that, one thing I'm starting to get into more is doing like lo-fi cover songs and piano cover songs for tracks. And District Kid makes getting the licenses super easy to do and to manage. So what you're waiting for, click the link in the description down below now to check out DistroKid, find out more about what they do. And for now, I'm gonna dive in and finish off the rest of the video. So plugin number two is by Imagro, who's a UK based composer and producer. And he is well known for his lo-fi music and he also writes other genres. Plus he's come out with the legendary Imagro piano, which is one that I've got a lot of use out of and I've used a lot in the videos in the past. And I think it's probably fair to say it's one of those plugins that I think everyone certainly in the lo-fi scene has got. And now he's come out with a really interesting second piano. So this is what it sounds like straight up. So it's got a really interesting tone and it's a little bit brighter than the Imagero piano. And as with uh, the Imagero piano, there's lots that you can tweak and adjust. And you've also got this new preset feature. So I can browse through these. So you've got this really soft attack piano pad, which is lovely. really intimate sort of tape driven sound which is nice so lots of presets to mess about with there's all these factory presets and some artist presets as well from some very cool producers so these are some of the controls uh, you've got the main piano selector the piano the tape the paper which is nice and plucky. Uh, you've got this tone selector, nice and bright to nice and muffled. You've got the basic option where you can adjust clarity in room or you can go into the pro mode and adjust the mics individually and you've got these effects like wobble and you can turn it into a pad by increasing the attack and then you've got width and gain as well. And if you go into the settings you can adjust the tuning and velocity curve and stuff like that as well. So first impressions are very cool piano that I think has a really interesting character, a nice intimate sound. So I could definitely see me getting a lot of use out of this like I did with the first Imagero piano. So yeah big shout out to Imagero, all the links will be in the description down below to check these out. Also probably worth mentioning what this thing is, uh, so I was sent this a while ago. It's a Star Favor 150W fully weighted digital piano. And it took me a while to get around to actually playing it. I received two instruments from two different companies that I've been waiting to play. Went to open the first one yesterday. They were supposed to send me, uh, I won't say what they're supposed to send me because it'll be an interesting video, but it was a musical item. And what arrived was a fishing boat motor. So that video is on hold for the foreseeable. But I also received this a few months ago. 
and it's a fantastic fully weighted keyboard uh, I think you can get them for about three to four hundred dollars in the US and about the same in pounds in the UK and for the price of the keyboard it's amongst the best that I've played and I was messing through some of the inbuilt sounds and they're actually pretty cool very retro feel to it that's the music box glockenspiel celeste so you'll be hearing it in mono uh, but also if i go back you get some really interesting chinese sounds as you'd imagine it's a made in china chinese company which is why it's so cheap but you get some interesting chinese noises the who ends and this like flute thing So yeah, some really interesting sounds. I love the way it plays. And it's nice to be able to have this option to sort of get away from the desk a bit and record these videos like this. Um, so yeah, I would recommend checking them out, to be fair. But yeah, something to think about. And as a MIDI controller, it works great. So on to the next one. So plugin number three, I'm going to demo with a reverb as well in a second. But this is the free piano. It's the sort of prototype, I guess, of the dusty felt piano that is going to come out from Somerville Sounds. Uh, you may have come across the YouTuber who's called John Mayer, who's not the guitar player John Mayer but a separate John Mayer who makes fantastic virtual instruments. He's got loads uh, as part of his Somerville Sounds company. But this one is free and it sounds really nice. And I think a lot of people are going to love this. Uh, I imagine it's probably not going to be free once it's the final version. Um, but for now, you get a great piano. For I say free, you can pay what you want. So if you get a lot of use out of it and you enjoy it, it's always nice to send a little bit of money to the artists. Uh, but this is what it sounds like. Such a beautiful sound. Like if you're not listening with headphones, there's a lot of stereo space. It's really intimate. It's probably the most intimate piano sound I've heard. Uh, and it really feels like you're in you're in the piano. Your head is stuck in there. I'm not sure if that's what you're going for, but it's very cool. I love the sort of way that you can obviously the mics are fixed. So as you play higher notes, it's more this way. The lower notes more to the uh, left really warm fantastic sound uh, you can hear as well there's some sort of some of the unisons off it's obviously not a perfect piano but often that's that's the sort of stuff that you want uh, here are some of the features that you've got so you've got different presets very Halloween Uh, and these are some of the things you can adjust. So you've got the wow, flutter. I definitely should have used this for the Halloween tracks that I recently made. Dust. So yeah, very cool piano. Would definitely recommend checking it out. And quickly, if I've got time left on this video, uh, I wanted to show you this, which is Revolve. This plugin is new from Clev Grand Audio, and it's absolutely beautiful uh, so you've got these different dials where you can pick different spaces and get the ir response and i talked about altiverb recently this is significantly cheaper and it's got a very similar feel obviously it's not got as many irs etc 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 but it's a fantastic plugin so So that's at 100%, you can click through these different spaces. And you can click over here and pick uh, different sort of sound stages. And I always love the sort of reverb you get with nature settings uh, because it's unusual, it's not as uniform as some of the buildings. So I thought I'd quickly drop a shout out to that end because I'm going to be using it in a load of videos coming up, uh, I imagine. But yeah, but yeah, that's plug in at number three. So I hope you found these VSTs interesting. And if you did, please do drop a like and drop a comment on the video. It could be anything from questions about this video to requests for new videos. 
or any gibberish in between. It really helps the channel grow and pick up on the algorithm. And also, if you're looking for more VSTs, I did a similar video covering my favorite vocal VSTs. So this is vocal textures, drones, ambiences, and layers that you can add a really interesting texture to your track. So you can click the card up here to watch that video uh, where I break down six, I think, of my favorite VSTs at the minute uh, with some really interesting ones. So well worth checking out. But yeah, for now, that is it. Thanks for watching and catch you next time.